There were some chaotic scenes during the autumn budget that you may have missed. But even if you didn't, the Tories would probably prefer they weren't broadcast. Whoops! Chancellor Philip Hammond didn't mention the issue of women's pensions during his budget. But unfortunately for him, some of the women affected were in Parliament's public gallery. And they certainly made themselves known, Tories silent after Hammond's. Twitter.com slash ZDFXFM2V, The Agitator, at Uke de Mockery, October 29, 2018 Brilliant support from the labor benches for the indomitable. MP Don Butler pointed out, the women seemed spurred on by labor leader Jeremy Corbyn, the 1950s women were waiting patiently for a mention in. It is a shame at Waspy underscore campaign were thrown out before they got to hear at a labor response. We gave you a standing ovation. Pit.twitter.com slash Merman, Don Butler MP, at Don Butler Brent, October 29, 2018 Other MPs tweeted their support, all power to you. Nothing from this impotent budget from this limping government. Demonstrating in the public gallery at the conclusion of the It's a total disgrace, the Chancellor has nothing to offer them. And the SNP will continue to put your case forward at WASPI underscore campaign. WASPI is the canary previously reported. The 1995 Conservative Government's Pension Act include plans to increase women's state pension age to 65, which is the same as men's. But the government did not contact the women affected until 2009 to 14 years later. At first, the government planned to slowly phase the reforms in. But in 2011, then-Chancellor George Osborne decided to speed up the process by several years. As the Women Against State Pension Inequality, WASPI, campaign explains, the result of these reforms is that, hundreds of thousands of women born in the 1950s, on or after 6 April 1951, have been hit particularly hard. They have seen their retirement age increase by up to six years. It has meant women cannot claim their pension until 65 from November 2018 and until 66 from October 2020. It was off the back of these changes that the WASPI campaign was born. The group has been pushing politicians to change the rules ever since. So far, the government has failed to do anything about the WASPI women's plight. And with nothing in the budget, their campaign continues. As Monday's events in Parliament showed, they won't be kept quiet. Get involved, read more from the Canary on the Autumn Budget. Join us so we can keep holding the powerful to account. Featured image via The Agitator, Twitter.